Welcome to CAPS Tutorials and in this video we're going to build a non-inverting op-amp circuit. Now in the previous video I covered an inverting op-amp so if you watch that then it should be quite simple to set this up. So just remember that for a non-inverting op-amp our output will be the input voltage multiplied by 1 plus RF divided by RN and it has a different configuration to the inverting amplifier. So now let's get right into the circuit. So to build our circuit, we are going to have an op amp. So press F2 to get your op amp. Just type OP and click OP07. Then escape. Then now we're going to place our resistors. So for a non inverting op amp, your first resistor will be here, the other one will be at the feedback position. And they're connected to, they're both connected to the negative terminal. Press F3 to bring out the wires. Connect that point, that point as well. Then finally, connect that to the output. Okay. Then you're going to press F3 again to come to this point. And this point is actually grounded because our input is actually fed into the positive side. And that is how we get a positive on the output as well, because it's non-inverting. So if you press F3, and that connects to the positive terminal, going down, escape V to connect your input, and you can then ground that press it by pressing G. This is our complete circuit. We just have to assign values and power it. So just like in the previous video, I'm just going to have two voltage sources, which are separate. And I'm going to ground those. So let me ground this one properly. F9 to undo and G, ground that. Assign a value of five volts. You can assign a high value if you want. Then negative five volts to the other one. F4, then assign labels. V plus F4 again, assign a label V minus to the one which is negative, escape. And now we can use those same labels. So another way that you can do this, you can just press control C to copy that label, copy it over to this point, the positive side where you want to paste it, All right? So control C, just click on it then take it to wherever you want. And let's say control, it remains the same. So you just click it and then drag that to the place that you want. So that's much simpler instead of retyping or repressing F4 again and typing the label and placing it and just copy this stuff. And that applies to components as well. So now let's assign values according to a formula. If we are going to have an input of let's say one volt, so right click, press one volt, then this formula then becomes one multiplied by one plus RF divided by RN, and that'll be our output. If we want the input to be multiplied by two, then this ratio should be one, so that we can have one plus one, two, multiplied by the input. So to get a ratio of one, we have to make these two equal. So a common resistor value, one K, you can just make both of those one K, and if they are 1K, then we expect this one to be multiplied by two, and that will be our output. So you can put a label at the output, F4, to get that, type whatever label you want to put so that you can actually distinguish where we are probing. Now set up your simulation. Let's set it up just like in the previous one. So let's say 5M, so five milliseconds, place this anywhere, run your simulation, Let's probe the input. So you can zoom in with your mouse wheel. And if you press that point, we have one volt indeed, which is our input. But what about the output? At the output, we have two volts. So if you click on that, look at the cursor, it reads two volts over there, which is what expected. Now, once again, we're going to do the same, but now using a sinusoid. So if you right click on the voltage source, go to advanced, sign, DC offset of zero, an amplitude of one, and a frequency of one K. If you rerun the simulation, let's check the input that is a sinusoid with an amplitude of one. And at the output, 
it should have the same sign, but it's multiplied by two, which is exactly what we're seeing. But this is a non-inverting, so it should follow the same profile with the input, and it does, just that it has a higher amplitude because we're multiplying the input by two. So the input was one, and if you multiply that by two, you get the two volts which we have in the output. And that is how you make, or that's that's how you construct an uninverting op amp circuit in LT spots. I hope this was useful. If it was, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video.